So my beautiful people, I am back with another Outer Ring video and today guys I bring you 7 amazing weapons you don't wanna miss. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and wanna see more, be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on so you never miss a video. Okay so today I bring you 7 amazing weapons, well 6 and a half weapons shall we say. But even so, that, that one and a half, or that half even, is incredible, and you must get it. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. And the best thing about this is, and the way I'm going to arrange these videos is, I'm, I try and group these up so they're more or less in the exact same area. So you ain't going from north to south to east to west, going all over the place. So you can, in general, grab all these while you're doing this. So yes, I hope you enjoy. And let's get straight into it, guys. And start with the Lord Sworn great sword so this is probably the one that's out of the way kind of but not too drastic whatsoever so upon when you first enter the open world you want to come to the gate front ruins where you can see me out on the map right here now there are those uh gray sites either side of these so you can trigger them while you're here as well but it is guys more or less as simple as going behind this one wagon and simply taking out this dude this would be from the west side grace uh, so yeah just come from there take out this dude and simply open up the chest guys and there you have it the lord swan great sword and well it's as simple as that Okay, so from here on in, we are actually traveling basically south from where we are right now. We're going to end up at the bottom of the map, but you want to grab all these while you're here if you haven't already. So this weapon here right now, we have the Great AP, I believe that's pronounced. I'm not even sure, but it's a heavy thrusting sword and it looks absolutely incredible. So you can see where I'm at on the map right here. You just want to come to this simple spot. Now, what I'll say is there are quite a few enemies here, but you can basically kite them away. So if you jump on your mount and do exactly what I do, you should actually be free to actually just jump down and grab the chest. So you'll see what I do. I actually run past them, jump on top of this kind of like old building, whatever it is, or ruins, I don't even know. Because the only dude here you want to really stress about is the guy on horseback that's it because with him and his big fat sword it just it just does serious damage so you can see i run past the so uh, the chest sorry then i come up this way and what happens here is guys you can see the one the one guy on the sword on the horse sorry glitches out you may as well grab this thing on top of the roof while you're here guys take this guy out too he's relatively straightforward to kill shouldn't do any anything serious to you so once you take him out you grab this right here which is a royal house scroll i'm not sure what that's for yet and then simply guys just jump down and quickly grab the chest and jump back on your mount and get the heck out of there but yeah guys it is as simple as that Okay, so now we're heading even further south, guys, and now we're going to get the Morning Star, which is a hammer. But it's a badass looking hammer, like a ball with spikes on it on the end of a stick, which you know just hurts. So from the same actual grace we just uh, went to the last weapon from, here you just want to head south. So from here, guys, just jump on your mount and follow the path I take to the Bridge of Sacrifice. Ignore all enemies. Just, just follow the path I do, uh, and it is as simple as that. I'll catch you guys back in a quick second.
Okay, so once you get to the Weeping Peninsula, does that say? I'm not even sure. Um, you'll come to the wagon, you can see it right there in front of you. Now here, you want to obviously crouch walk, you want to go to that stealth mode. Because you don't want to be picked up by any of these enemies, especially that big old dirty troll on the right there. So what you want to do is, guys, just crouch walk. And you will have to take out one guard from behind. But as soon as you kill him, simply jump on the back of the wagon and get that incredible looking morning star hammer. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Hand Ballista, which is another monster. Now, the point we were just at on the map, um, the Bridge of Sacrifice, just to the right hand side of it is a Sight of Grace, which you will obviously want to trigger, but it's slightly just right of the actual Morning Star, uh, but you'll see that on the screen now. So from this point of the map, guys, you just want to follow the exact route I take. So pull out your mount and come past again the wagon, the wagon which you actually picked up the Morning Star from. So you should get the gist of where we actually, where that side of grace is. So come past this point, guys, and keep coming. Ignore all these enemies, run past them. Grab the shinies if you want. I mean, no one's going to hold it against you. Just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Then you'll take a sharp right. Then what you'll have to do, guys, is you'll have to run up this hill, take out a dude and his manky looking dog and then climb up this kind of mini tower now you will have to take out a couple of guards nothing too hard whatsoever but at the very top in that chest is this incredible beastly hand ballista so yes guys take that and enjoy it Okay, so next up, guys, we have two items just slightly further south from the actual uh, the Morning Star because after the Morning Star, we went and got the, the Hand Ballista. Now, we actually took that sharp right, remember? Now, if you avoided that and come down more south, not too far, you would eventually come to this Grace Point, the Castle Morn Rampart. And from here, guys, we want to make our way even further south, as you can see on the map right here. Now, we want to enter this kind of like castle building thing but there's a massive dude standing right in front of it with a ginormous bow and arrow so you, you you'll actually see shots before you see him nine times out of ten so yeah be careful here obviously you want to avoid them as best as you can just do what i do on screen now and you should be all good though guys
Okay, so once you get to this point, people, it's relatively straightforward. Uh, you don't have to worry about the, the bow and arrow dude here. I learned quite quickly that you can't actually shoot through here. So you want to activate this um, this grace. No two which ways about that. And from here, you just want to take the lift upwards. And from here, guys, this is where you have to sneak. Otherwise, you will get attacked by a ton of enemies and you don't want that. So just follow the path I take on screen now. Sneak past all these dudes and eventually you will come to this room right here now just on your left behind these this wood is a chest in this chest guys is that incredible claymore sword you don't want to miss this you really don't And from this point, guys, we're going to grab the steel wire torch, which is a upgraded torch. But you can also like breathe fire with it. It is amazing, as you're seeing on screen now. So from the point of where we just got that claymore sword, follow the path I take on screen now. So you'll come down these steps and you want to run past these dudes, guys, and run straight up this ladder. They will follow you up, but that's all good. Then once you get to the top, you're going to cross and jump up this ladder again. And hopefully the enemies just take each other out and when there's just uh, the same brood of enemies left jump down and slay the rest of them and once you've jumped down and slayed the rest of them there's a couple of things you can collect here but the main thing guys is being guarded by two more enemies which you will have to take out once you take these out people you are good to grab that incredible amazing steel wire Touch. You don't want to miss this. Okay, so lastly people today and the seventh weapon and item uh, for today's video is the whip now the whip um, is straightforward it's a whip it whips enemies it's as simple as that now to actually guide you to this one we're going to come back to that last uh, grace we just went to and um, before we got the claymore and the uh, steel wild torch so it's just literally the one at the start of this castle so come back to this guys and I'll show you the location to another grace and then to get the whip you will have to take out a couple of giant rats but they're not too hard whatsoever so I'll come forward guys and pull the lift back down it's probably best just to if you did grab that claymore and the steel wire it's probably best just to fast travel back to this grace and just follow me follow the path I take because you do go a different direction once you get up to where the enemies are where you have to sneak past them so yeah once you get to the top of the lift here guys get into that sneaky crouch mold and do what you gotta do so here just come forward now you haven't got to be i want 
so to be honest you could probably just run straight past these um because you get to a point where you just jump away from them anyway so it doesn't really matter so you can see the mark the point on the map are just marked um so yeah that's the way we're heading really so you can see i'm actually just looking around here because i know i know there's more secrets in this area um i just i just haven't had time to explore up to my eyeballs people in videos to make and things to cover this that, and the other so yeah you can see at the end here and watch this big old pumpkin head dude you can see the dog just started chasing me so yeah my crouch stealthy walking uh didn't quite work there so i grabbed this smithing stone you probably want to grab that and then you want to head this way like i said just run past the ads run past the enemies don't even stress about them don't even stress about them and then guys you want to climb up this ladder be careful because they can get you like that they can still chop your ass just get up here and go as fast as you can look at my my wiggling butt whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> okay so from hop here guys it's relatively straightforward where you've got to go so let's follow where i go right here again avoiding all the enemies don't even stress about them don't worry about them and here guys again i think i do i grab something up here I'm pretty sure that I do. I'm sure I do, do I? Oh, no, no, no. I just jumped down. We're good. That's what I do. I grab the grace. That's what we're doing. This is the other grace in Serie you want to grab. And from here, it's relatively straightforward. You just run and jump off the edge of this wall. And just keep coming down and following where I'm going. Uh, don't worry, you won't die. You can grab this while you're here too. A stone sword key. You don't want to miss one of them. You know they're very handy for opening certain pathways in dungeons and shit. So grab that while you're here. And then guys you just want to jump off this edge here onto the top of this building. So once you're on here guys just walk around it. And then just jump down here. And then grab this while you're here. You may as well. You may as well. And just keep coming down. Just keep coming down. And eventually you'll get to this building here. We have to drop through the top. Now you probably can grab this without fighting these rats. Um, it's, I just thought I'd just kill them just, just to make it easier on myself. Now you obviously want to use these beams. Because if you jump down from the top, you're probably going to die. And let's jump down again and you'll see that they is in that corner right there so if you jump down you'll see it right at the back there there you go so i see i notice a rat clocks I mean it's like oh dinner so i take him out and cut the other ones out and kill them let's run to the corner and grab it guys and it is as simple as that and that is the whip and how you get it people and there we have it guys for another video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Elden Rings, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.